swimming up to this particular wreck, you cross barren sand and then all of a sudden you begin to see this sort of bait fish sandwich, strata of living matter. And it's quite interesting because there's all different types of bait fish and they all choose different levels. These fish are all attracted by the singular structure of this old trawler which lies on the sandy bottom. And it's quite amazing how an old hulk of steel can attract so much fish life. Just bearing in mind that there are actually no substantial reef structures anywhere near this wreck. So it's only the hull of this ship that is providing shelter and refuge for, for all these little fish. An old trawler net waving in the surge, quite ironic. This net that used to catch tons and tons of fish is now a haven for all these little silvery fish. It's almost like they're getting their own back on this old trawler. The pinkies seem to make up the lower strata of the baitfish sandwich. The little grunter-like silvery fish that seem to like to hug the sand. The fishermen will know these as pretty good bait for garrick and this wreck is basically a fisherman's paradise. All the species here play some part. The moss bunker, the horse mackerel or scad. The shad patrol the top of the baitfish layers. They're the sort of micro predators of the small fish. Razor sharp teeth. And obviously these fish provide a lot of food for passing game fish. A big alien-like diamond skate came flying over the wreck itself, dive bombing back towards the bottom. Another well-known shore angling fish. This big flatfish normally lurks underneath the layers of baitfish. Very well adapted and quite swift when it's startled. This environment is amazing. Absolutely beautiful to watch. <laughs>